What's up, guys, man? If you guys new to my channel, nigga, hit that sub button. I decided to take some of y'all advice up, up inside the comments, man, and try HQ Trivia. So, I'm going to see if this is better than Cash Show. And if it is, I'm going to just make videos up on both apps. So, yeah, don't forget to hit that sub button, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Join the pack. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If I ain't HQ, baby, if I ain't got HQ, well, guess what? You do. You have it. This is it. It's HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. And I'm your host with the Melba Toast, Question Love, a.k.a. Eddie Quizzard, a.k.a. Edward Quizzerans, Scott Rogowski. Recovering from an epic game last night. Oh, my Lanta. We gave out $25,000 to 38 of the best and brightest HQDs. We're back at it again today with all 750,000 of you, including Champagne Sappy, Will Sasson, Lena Lately, Brian Olazak, and Solomon at Treasure Beach in Jamaica. Life's a beach when you're playing HQ. I'm asking 12 questions, and I want answers. Three choices are going to pop up. You tap the right one, answer all 12 correctly, and you win real cash. Today's prize is 2,500 Damien Easleys, 2,500 Damon Bufords, $2,500. You can finally join Columbia House at eight CDs for a penny. You need a binder that can hold two million discs with that kind of money. It is Monday. It sucks. But that's why HQ is here, to make things suck slightly less. So quiz with me, you know I got it. Quiz with me and get some money. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this show on the road to Cumero, numero uno. Which of these is a common piece of advice from a dentist? Flop around on your bed, flunk out of school, or floss? Dentist. Are you an anti-dentite? If your dentist is telling you to flop around on your bed, you might be a redneck. Floss is the answer, of course. Floss like a boss and brush and rinse twice a day, if you can, 758,611. Four out of five dentists agree that you are moving on to Q2. You're flossing on them haters. Stay flossing. The mother of your father is what relation to you? Grandmother, grandfather, or Granny Smith Apple? This is your Q2, brought to you by Apples. No. Whether you call her Nana, Nana, Mama, Mima, Grammy, Gram, Gram, Abuelita, or G Unit, she's always a bubby to me. It's grandmother. Yes, Grandma, Grandmare, May May, whatever it is, 713,422 are brothers and sisters in arms. Father to a sister of thought, marching on to Q3. 792 did think it was an apple. Q3, the components required for a fire to burn are typically illustrated with which shape? Triangle, trapezoid, or pentagon? You seen the fire chart? What shape are we talking about here? There are three elements, three components required. Your heat, your fuel, and your oxygen. Triangle. It's the triangle of fire. If you remove one, the structure collapses. The triangular structure, 608,780, are right on this one. Your right angles are moving on to Q4 here. By definition, which of these would an herbivore eat? Tabuli, kibi, or shawarma? Yeah, an herbivore. Hmm. You know the score when it comes to herbivores, right? They're vegetarian. Shawarma and kibbe are meat-based dishes. Filet, yes, it's a salad. Vegetarian dish from the Middle East and 305,268 are eating great today. They want Q5, they're hungry for it, and they're gonna get it. The metric unit for what scientific value is also the name of a rental car chain? Magnetic flux, resistance, or frequency? Yes, this is a double, double layer here. When things go wrong, wrong with you, it hurts me too. Hertz is the name of the rental car chain. It's also the metric unit for frequency. What's the frequency, Kenneth? What's the frequency, Kenneth? 185,187 of you are in the driver's seat. 
It hurts so good. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. The rest of you are out of frequency and out of this quiz. Q6, which Jim Carrey movie was released the same year Netflix was founded? Bruce Almighty, Liar Liar, or The Mask? Jim Carrey, Ace Ventura, not one of the options. Who could forget the year 1997? The year I became a man. The year the Florida Marlins were world champs. Shout out Levon Hernandez. And the year Netflix was founded, initially to mail DVDs. Remember DVDs? Remember mail? Remember Bruce Almighty? Well, that came out in 2003. The Mask, however, 1994. But in 1997, Jim Carrey started Liar Liar. That's the same year Liar Liar is your answer. Royal Blue. Remember that one? I can't lie, and I can't lie when I say we have a savage question at Q6. Yes, sir, Ricky Bobby, 46,851. They're smoking. The rest of you, your pants on fire. We lost nearly 140,000 at Q6. Q7, whose poem inspired a Rush song, Twilight Zone episode, and Ray Bradbury story? E.E. E. Cummings, T.S. Eliot, or Walt Whitman? A.O.A. Hey, yo, hey, E.E. -E. No? The poem is I Sing the Body Electric. I Sing the Body Electric. And it, it inspired a short story by Ray Bradbury. Well, that was the, the short story. And then came the Twilight Zone episode of the same name, which then inspired the Rush song, The Body Electric. Yes, and the man who started it all, who wrote that poem, Father of free verse, Walt Whitman, Brooklyn's own Walt Whitman. I sing the body electric, and I sing another savage question at Q7. Mucho salvaje. Yes, yes, 13,327 surviving this sauvage. That question sauvage. I'm going multilingual today. 1001001 SOS for the rest of you. Q8. What is the name of the gene that determines the color of a Palomino horse? Lactose, cream, or milk? Gene, Gene, the dancing machine. How do you take your coffee? Milk, sugar? If you're a horse, cash rules everything around me. Cream, it's the cream gene, AKA the dilute gene. Yes, that's your answer, 6,497. Galloping on to the next question. A chestnut colored horse with this cream gene could present as a Palomino. That's right, 6,497 are Gene Genies, and they're granted Q9. Which game was almost pulled from the market before a late night host saved it? Jenga, Pictionary, or Twister? This is a very interesting story. You're getting a nice little story at Q9. Sales of this game were extremely poor when it first hit the market. It was too risque, considered too risque, until the company's PR scored a major coup, getting Johnny Carson and Eva Gabor to get twisted on The Tonight Show with Twister in 1966. Weird, wild stuff. 2,464 of you are correct, sir. Yes. You are twisting and shouting to Q10, set to dance at the Apollo Theater Amateur Night. Who decided to sing at the last minute? Ella Fitzgerald, Etta James, or Billie Holiday? Another fantastic story here. True stories from history. She was all set to do a dance routine, but after seeing the Edwards sisters cut a rug, Ella Fitzgerald called a backstage audible and instead sang Hoagie Carmichael's Judy, and 1,118 of you are singing hallelujah, because you survived this one at Q10. You're demanding another question, just like the Apollo audience demand another song from Ella. Q11, the penultimate question, which of these Guinness World Record holders weighed the most? Heaviest watermelon, heaviest squash, or heaviest bag of rice? She's so bow, 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 heavy, yeah. The heaviest watermelon certified by Guinness was 350 pounds. The heaviest bag of rice on record was about 1,200 pounds, 550 kilograms. But the heaviest squash was grown by Joe Jutras and weighed in at an incredible 2,118 pounds. Oh my gourd, that's a lot of leftovers and 495 of you are left over after Q11. Sliding into Q12 here, the final question. This is it, folks. Q12, it all boils down to this 495 HQD, 25 
hundred dollars. Who's gonna be counting that guap after Q12? Say Which of these it. foods is not mentioned in Train's hit song Drops of Jupiter? Deep fried chicken, soy latte, or chicken pot pie? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. Tell me, does the song take you back to the early aughts? Can you imagine? No love, no pride, deep fried chicken. The best soy latte that you ever had in me. Yes, those are the lyrics, not sung very well, to Train's hit song, but there's no love for chicken pot pie. But tell me, who's sailing across the sun? 231 of you, baby! Two hundred and thirty-one of you making it to the Milky Way to see the lights all faded. M. Lazarow, you're getting ten dollars eighty-two cents. E. 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 Cummings, you're getting ten dollars eighty-two cents. Nice little cartoon there. Oh, I like Ben Twenty-Four with the Scott and Bert avatar. Ten dollars eighty-two cents. Two hundred thirty-one of you splitting twenty-five hundred dollars. You're all getting ten dollars and eighty-two cents. Rick Matra, Dynasty Six Twelve, T. B. Holmes, Evan. Go buy yourself a ranch. And then a few heads of cattle along with that. Maybe not enough. Okay, come back tonight though, right? Win some more money. Yes, we're giving up more money, more questions. More problems? No, no problems, no problems. 9 p.m. tonight, we are live every day at 9 p.m. and weekdays at 3 p.m. That's right, six hours from now, come on back. Until then, this is Scott signing off saying, I never forget a face. But in your case, I'll be glad to make an exception. So that's the end of that, man. I lucky like this app. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, start making videos up on this app too. But lucky, I'm trash at this app too. I'm just trash at all the cash apps. But no, no. Don't forget to hit that sub button, man. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you want to. And I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>